and welcome back to my channel. So I started this picture tonight, uh, tonight, last night. I'm, with, I'm filming this in the morning. I am Ruster, not filmed in like a week. Uh, yeah, different story. But I started this page last night in Hannah Carlson's uh, Daydreams. And all I did was put a very thin wash of white acrylic paint all over so I just popped a little bit onto a palette and mixed it with loads and loads of water and just put a really thin wash over the whole thing you can see it's going a little bit there the corners uh, but my idea with this is I wanted to dull down the line art now it might not be picking up on camera but if I just show you a page that has not been done with the acrylic you can see the difference the you know it's, it's a lot darker the line art so I wanted to create an easy way of doing uh, crystals because they're not, not my favourite thing to colour because I do struggle colouring them. So I managed to create this and just with three colours and with the Arteza pencils and I, again these are really really good budget pencils. I've got a couple of high end and then um, the budget pencils and these and the Brute Funas are probably like my favourite. They really, really are nice pencils these. So it's just a three colour blend. I have pulled out my gel pen. Now I don't know whether I'm going to put it over the top because I'm undecided what I'm going to do about the background. But normally I would go around all of the line arts with the white gel pen. But like I said, but because I'm not too sure about the background, I might go in with Pan Pastel. I don't want to use the white gel pen because it'll be a waste of time, I'll be, be redoing it. But you can get the idea there of the, the crystal that I managed to achieve and it was so simple to do. Let me show you with direct light. Yeah, it was so simple to do. It might be better than me keeping the light like that actually. I'm trying to work with daylight today and not too many lights around me. So I think I will colour this one. We'll do this one the exact same way. Now I've got my colours out but I'm not overly prepared because I've not sharpened all of the colours. I will go through the colours in a minute. But this was just so simple to do last night. And I thought if anyone else is struggling with crystals this might be a good idea. And putting that base of the white acrylic down it's given the paper a really nice tooth. But in saying that... I probably wouldn't use your really expensive pencils with this method because it might eat away at your pencils a bit quicker. So I started off with the darker shade which was violet and it's very random. I don't uh, stick to the same, same pattern on each of the sides because you want it to look like it is shiner. So let me bring you in a little bit more. That should do the trick. And then onto the medium shade which is Lilac. I pull that up. And then with the very last shade which was the Peaches and Cream. I use this as sort of a blender. Now I don't pull this colour all the way down to the really dark purple. I did that in a couple of areas here because it lightens it too much. So I just go about halfway down. It's as easy as that. So the violet and then the lilac and then the peaches and cream. So again, really random. So we'll go from this side this time. And start pulling the colour inwards. Let's darken that up ever so slightly. And then on with the lilac. Just pulling it straight across. I'm using a medium to so hard pressure here. And then on with the peaches and cream. Now I do switch out. I've got a fan brush and I use an old uh, makeup brush as well. I don't use anymore. So same thing we will go from, we'll do from the bottom this time. 
So your darkest shade first, then your medium and then your lightest last. And onto the medium. And leave a little gap at the top for your peaches and cream. You see how effective that is. And I really do think that it helps with that acrylic background. I mean, you could use, you don't have to use white, I suppose. You could use different colour um, acrylic paint. Did I say acrylic ink before? Acrylic paint. Uh, but I'd just be careful how much you're putting down because you might lose the line art. A medium shade and then just leave a tiny bit at the bottom to add your lightest shade. You can even go ahead and use a white if you wanted to but I wanted to bring a little bit of peach into it because I'm thinking about doing um, a gingery cat on the other side I think. Maybe. So this side pull the colour down onto our medium shade And then the peaches and cream last. So the very top one, that is all one piece so that these are not separate. So we'll have to treat it as it's it's just one piece. So I'll block fill this part in. Along with these little areas. And slightly feather it out there onto the darker one, uh, medium rather. Words. Actually, I want a little bit more. And then the peaches and cream. See, that's really effective. That it's like an ombre, a nice blend there. Let's just go straight down with this one. You're probably better off as well with a wax pencil doing it this way because of the way that I'm blending. I mean you could do this with oil based but it'll take um, a couple more layers <coughs> to probably achieve, achieve this. Again, the darker one, we will bring that up. A little bit there. And I think the this bit here is all one. So the other side's going to have to match. And onto the medium. I'm turning my pencil as well as I'm going to try and keep the, the points as sharp as I can. So don't have to keep sharpening. This one starts off there, so I need to do it darkest here. See how simple that is and how effective it is. I, I love this method, the way, the way of doing it. I'm going to have to test it out with different colours on different crystals. I'll just stick with the same ones, I'm not sure yet. Not sure, I've not thought that far ahead yet.
if anything i hope this gives you a bit of inspiration to so tackle these crystals because like i said i didn't really like coloring crystals but i do feel a lot more confident now with this method now you don't have to put the acrylic down on the background but i do think that it helps with blending and to get rid of some of that really really dark line art now you can do a couple of these at once now switching between the colors it's easier as well to keep the pencils in your hand as opposed to keep picking them up so we'll go from the top here actually we'll go from the side Just like that and then this side we'll do the opposite And what you could always do as well, over the top of these you can put you could put gel pens as highlights, glitter gel pens, you could put uh, the Spectrum Noir Sparkle pen which is beautiful, really really glittery, over the top just to give them a little bit of something. But obviously because this page is nowhere near finished, I've only just started it, I don't want to mess around with different mediums just yet until I'm absolutely convinced about this background so we'll do these two one from the bottom there and then one coming from the side and then finish off with the peaches and cream You hear the birds right it's quite mild today it's quite nice out there it's not too cold considering we are in December and that one that's in the very corner I'm not going to put the dark one I don't think I'll have enough room for the three colors same with this one as well so I'll go in with the medium pull it up and then with the peaches and cream See, once you've got the hang of it, you can do quite a few at once. This is really, really, really easy to do. You could always use a blender pencil as well if you don't like some of the harsh lines, but I do actually like that on these crystals. So let's bring you out. And you're getting a good idea there. I think they're really, really effective. And like I said, if you went round with some gel pen to completely erase this liner, they'd be even nicer. But we're not at that stage yet. But it was just a little quick tutorial, just showing you how I created these crystals. I'm looking forward to finishing this page now. I will see you in the next one. Bye.